Alright, let's get a quick numerical uh, concentration question here uh, to deal with the average value uh, concept. What we have for our statement is the intensity of sunlight hitting the earth is about 1300 watts per meter squared. If sunlight strikes a perfect absorber, what pressure does it exert? How about a perfect reflector? What fraction of the atmospheric pressure does this amount to? All right, so what we need to know is the average time value or the flux density um, of the flux density is the angle brackets S. Again, this is not to deal with the vector notation. This is solely to deal with average, average value, sometimes called expected value, depending on how it's uh, organized. Um, you may have remembered this from multivariable or even calculus too, where we took the integral or the sums over it it's repeated thing times a weight and then divide it by um, the integral without the weight. Um, so we'll see that again. No big deal. It's pretty easy to deal with. But uh, average value is, is an integral divided by an integral. Easy to deal with. In this case, with the pointing vector, what we have is 1 half C epsilon naught uh, E naught squared in the Z hat direction. The intensity and radiation pressure well, that becomes a scalar, and we're just looking for um, I is equal to the average value of S, and then we see that P, or the pressure, is equal to I over C. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in. Solution is pretty simple. We were given the intensity, so the pressure for a perfect absorber is PA equal I over C. Intensity is equal to 1300, uh, which was given. C is equal to the speed of light. Let them uh, cancel out the units. And we're left with uh, 4.3 times 10 to the negative 6 newton per meter squared. For a perfect reflector, the pressure is twice as great because momentum switches direction. So we have reflection. Everything hits and everything bounces off. So the pressure has to change. And we have 2 times the pressure of the absorber. So we'll multiply that by 2 and we get 8.6 times 10 to the negative 6 newton per meter squared. No big deal there. And the atmospheric pressure is 1.03 times 10 to the 5 newton per meter squared. So the pressure of light on a reflector is P of R over P atmosphere. Take the ratio. And we see here that we have uh, 8.3 times 10 to the negative 11 atmospheres. So not that much. Uh, this does actually have a really cool experiment with that or an experiment that can be used showing that light can actually make a spinning uh, paddle move in a vacuum. I'll have to post a video of that because it's really cool to see.